Sustainable design means different things to different people. Uh, in our context, it means uh, the materials utilised for the structure of the building um, and also the equipment used in the building, that at the end of the life cycle of that building, the equipment, parts of the building fabric can be reused further for new buildings that we propose in the future. We think sustainable design is one that not only delivers a low energy building, but actually delivers a positive outcome. So in the case of Rogget Primary School, it's not only a low energy building, but it also has um, uh, lots of integrated design items that integrate into the curriculum, which positively influence with the children. Uh, it's a teaching and learning tool in its own right. Um, and it has a positive outcome on how people think about sustainability in the wider community. For me, sustainable design is very much holistic. It's about how the project um, can look at all aspects of sustainability. These days, it's very much focused on energy, which is right and valid. Um, but actually, sustainability is a lot more than that, particularly with schools and education projects. We're a sustainable school in the fact that we have um, solar um, panels for heating our hot water system. We also have a, a ground source heat pump to heat the school. We have underfloor heating for that. And we also harvest uh, rainwater for our toilet system as well. Um, we're also an eco school, which means that we've actually developed the outside area to be an interesting landscape for the children to play in and to spend their learning time in as well. And we've uh, created gardens for the children to um, produce vegetables and fruit as well in the summer months. The building really is a teaching tool. The children are learning with the building. They know all about wind energy, solar energy, rainwater harvesting. They know why the school has these features and how they will benefit the environment. In our library, we have an eco wall. Um, we also have a tube there that when, the, when it rains, the children can see the rain coming through the tube. They know that that's going into a rainwater harvesting tank. They know that that will be used to flush their toilets, so they're not a drain in the main system for flushing the toilets. The eco wall that I mentioned has um, panels on it that will tell you how much energy um, is being gathered from the solar panels, how much energy is being collected from the wind turbine. And there's lovely diagrams there that the children can understand from first hand how that can be measured. The key uh, aims uh, in terms of sustainability uh, and objectives for this project, the Rogget Primary School, um, are low energy in use, uh, low embodied energy in the construction of the building as well, and the best possible teaching and learning environment. Um, one of the clear results of, of a low energy uh, and sustainable building is that the school actually achieved the highest BREAM rating uh, in Wales and indeed the UK. Another aspect of sustainability in our school is the insulation in the walls. Even when the children were in the old school building, they were collecting newspapers and these were pulped to make the wall insulation. Some of our children went to visit the factory and watched it being pulped and then they even came over and pulped some of it into the walls themselves. And the library itself um, is, has 27,000 newspapers in the walls. That was the number that our school collected and they were able to see the whole process going in. And there's a panel in the library now where you can see those newspapers the children collected. At the beginning of the building process, one of my teachers, Miss Morgan, and her class did a project on sustainability and environmental features in buildings. They then wrote to the construction team and they asked them if the building could have a wind turbine, solar panels, where the, where the wood would come from, whether the trees were sustainable, even questions such as, can we use energy from another planet? The key aims and objectives in terms of sustainability for this project, specifically for Rogget Primary School, were one, to have um, a low energy building in use, um, but also low um, carbon, embodied carbon, in terms of the materials, the construction of the materials. Um, and secondly, also to deliver the best teaching and learning environment. So in terms of sustainability and energy use, um, it um, has a very low energy. We have um, super insulated walls, uh, we have a super insulated roof and floor, we have a very good air tightness. That's all uh, effectively done through a timber construction and recycled newspaper insulation. That also has a positive knock-on effect to the low embodied energy materials that we have throughout the scheme. Uh, in fact, we have less than 1% um, metal throughout the building. We have over 80% of the materials are A or A star rated under the green guide. The savings in carbon emissions have been 16.5 tonnes 
Um, so over the last six years that this building has been in place, we've saved near enough 100 tonne of carbon, which for a building this size is very good going. Uh, we've utilised the uh, technologies that we put into this building through now into refurbishments projects that we've been carrying out throughout the authority. Uh, so a number of schools have now got photovoltaic installations, probably between 15 and 20. Uh, solar hot water heating is now a matter of course in, in new builds and also refurbishments, uh, wherever we can fit them in. Uh, and we've also installed a number of biomass boilers. Uh, the biomass boilers are giving us over 600 tonne of carbon saving per year. When we're doing these installations, especially refurbishments, before we actually go down the renewable energy route, we should be looking at making the building itself more energy efficient by increasing the levels of insulation throughout that building. Learning how to develop sustainably and use more renewable energy, because now we're using a lot of fossil fuels, so we need to wean ourselves off that dependency. In physics we learn about energy and how we could get quite a lot of energy from renewable sources. This new geography block has a wind turbine outside and there's a screen in the, in the hallway that, sh that shows us how much energy it's producing and how much energy it's saving us. And the school also has an eco-committee that sort of discusses how as a community we can reduce our energy usage. I would say the Eco Committee's biggest success would be our wind turbine because it highlights uh, environmentally friendliness within the school and how much we want to help to educate the community as well as our school. So, um, has anyone seen the posters that have been put up for our Design of Bing competition? Yeah. And we're, we're trying to get in as involved as we can with recycling. We're doing a Design of Bing competition and a, a Design of Poster to encourage people to recycle. The main thing regarding sustainable design, and it's been brought, brought to the front on this particular job, is to get the design team together as early as possible. Um, when we initially got together for this particular project, uh, everyone said it can't be done for the £2 million funding that we had. Um, but it was, and it was brought into budget, and we've got all of this uh, sustainable equipment installed that nobody thought we were ever going to get. It's all about talking and getting people involved from an early stage. Um, I'd urge any client to think about sustainability early on, to think about how they're going to approach sustainability, particularly with the link to Briam and whether that's appropriate, um, and define those objectives and get it in the project agenda from day one. I think sustainable design can be improved in the future in a number of ways. One of them really is just making sure that the actual design on paper becomes a reality. Um, often. Uh, the actual building that you've delivered uh, doesn't actually meet all of the targets in design. So really for Rogget Primary School we were very keen to speak to the end users uh, in depth so that they understood how the building could be used and the other way around we understood how they wanted to use the space so that energy targets are actually met not just on paper but in reality as well.